Support coverage of your community. Contact us for more info. Hello and thanks for logging on to this TV Cadillac News Minute. I'm Eric Wotilla. Well, the Cadillac Area Community Foundation held a unique drawing at last week's Business Expo. Those attending the Business Expo were able to nominate various organizations for $250 grants. The foundation drew a few names from those organizations nominated, and on the morning of Thursday, October 18th, the Cadillac Area Community Foundation awarded the grants to four local groups. We were there when the grants were presented and bring you some exclusive highlights of the event. Well, what we're here for today is to uh, award some <coughs> grants to some very worthwhile organizations in our community. We were able to uh, get nominations from all the member the people that were going through the Business Expo last week, and all of your organizations were nominated and happened to have been drawn. And we are giving out two hundred and fifty dollars to each one of you. And and I'm going to kind of go down the line here. Uh, Larry Sols is the di director, no, or the leader, assistant scoutmaster, assistant scoutmaster for the Boy Scout Troop 125. And I just wanted to give you this check because this will be able to allow your troop perhaps to do something you didn't plan on doing this year. Congratulations, job well done. Thank you very okay, much. absolutely. And next is the Shepherd's Table, and Kathy, you have done an amazing job of pulling that together and I know sometimes probably pulling your hair out trying to figure out how you're going to make ends meet. Thank you very much. Kathy. Thank you. And thank congratulations. You. See, this will buy a lot of milk. There you go. <laughs> That's right. And now we come to a lady who has been in this community for her entire life, I yes. assume? Yes. You were born and raised here. Yes. Bonnie owned um, Stefan's drugstore in town for a long time with her husband Mike and after they sold that she just couldn't get enough of working, so she went back into an organization called SCORE. All of our particular chapter are retired people. We do free confidential counseling for anyone that wants to start a business, anyone that um, wants to buy a business, sell a business, um, if you want to make your business better yet. And of course, we always took classes from Hallmark. We took uh, the pharmacy classes that we could from our, our wholesalers anything to get an end mm -hmm. and that's what our goal is so it's a wonderful opportunity that you gave us to well, receive money from the foundation isn't that wonderful yes it well is. thank you very much for all the work that you thank do you. and there you go thank you very well much. earned i would thank say you. yes and now we have ken stall and ken is um has put together with a, with the help of a couple of other people in the mcbain area right. A, um, a program within the foundation. It's a fund within the foundation called the Friendship Family Home Fund. And Ken, maybe you could tell us a little bit about that fund okay. and why you <clears throat> felt the desire. Well, maybe a little bit about the home first. Uh, yes. The home is located in McBain, uh, like Linda said. It was uh, actually built in 1988. Um, it's a it's a Christian-based um, residential adult foster care home. And it's a residential home. We have six development, developmentally disabled ladies that live there. Our goal is to maximize what these ladies can do. It is a terrific um, opportunity for any organization who would like to establish an agency fund, mm -hmm. and that's what um, Ken's fund is called, is an agency fund. And the money goes directly to that agency for those, for mm -hmm. those uses. So um, he's, they're in the process of raising funds, and he, his fund will receive from the unrestricted fund of the foundation $250 and in towards his goal. And right. we're trying to raise that as, as high as we can get. Yeah, as fast as we can. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And that wraps up this TV Cadillac News Minute. I'm Eric Watilla. Thanks for logging on.